Yeah, I met my baby daddy when I was 19 years old. Actually, I just turned 20. I take that back. I just turned 20. I was 20 years old. He was 29, right? When I met him, I just remember... I remember how I used to be so sweet. I used to be so just green. Green light. I used to be green. And... I wholeheartedly now at 32 years old, but like he took, he took advantage of that, of that innocent me because y'all, bro. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. And don't forget to sign up to the channel by hitting the like and so many comments or if you haven't answered already. So she's going to tell us what had happened in the relationship. But so far, what I can get from this video is putting all the blame on the band so far but let's keep listening it is crazy how men will manipulate you bruh take you away from your family i'm trying to move me to a whole nother state move me out the country i ain't have neighbors i ain't have friends i spent my whole 20s i spent my whole 20s y'all so if in the beginning you saw the type of man he he is why did you i know he he wanted you to move to another state with him you could have said no i don't think there's much he could have done about it but let's keep listening oh in freaking iota louisiana living in the house sitting on freaking bricks right and i come from money i come from good people but i literally I literally settled for the barest of minimum. Based on what she said, her family probably doing pretty good. They have money. But now look at the type of men that she chose to spend her life with or to have kids with. Now you can't really blame the man for it because you're the one that picked that man. You think this man was a perfect fit for you. But now, look, let's keep listening to the story. Of a man, bro, who didn't do nothing but cheat on me, have girls in my house, drive in my car to see girls. I have nobody. I was out there by myself, y'all. I was out there by myself, just me and my kids. And I started having this man freaking kids. I ask myself all the time, like, how dumb were you, bro? Like, how dumb? So... On top of that, this man in and out of jail, in and out of jail, keep going back to jail, keep going back to prison, right? I'm going to blame her for this. He keep going in and out, in and out, but you keep taking this man back. You see the man not trying to change everything he do, something dumb, he go back. And then again, when he's out, he do another thing, he go back. And then you don't even take a second to yourself saying, this man is not for me. This man probably just wasting my time or maybe she liked what the man was doing or maybe he likes him because of the kind of stuff that he was doing i'm joseph you know what i'm saying i'm i'm loyal i'm a capricorn i'm one of the loyalest people you gonna ever meet bro hey I'm yo i don't understand how some of them always use a sign really so you're gonna base your loyalty based on a sign. I do not believe on those signs. Those this is this is BS to me, but let's keep listening. I'm one of the loyalest people you will ever meet. This man go to jail. And I'm telling y'all, bruh, this man never really spent no money on me. Like this past year, this last time he just got out of prison. That's the most money he ever spent on me. And I mean, for somebody who you've been with for 13 years, you would think. I mean, you owe me more than that. But long story short, y'all, my baby daddy just went back to jail, bro. He got sentenced to five years. He been in there for like six months. And I ain't gonna lie, I bought a brand new truck, um, a 2023 Audi Q8 last year. Um, for Christmas last year, I spent $8,000 on him. You know what I'm saying? On him alone. Mine is mine. Not even... Not, that's not included with what I spent on my kids. Y'all seen that? I showed y'all. Bought out. I blew through a lot of money last year because, I mean, you know, we was moving fast and, you know, you living like 
things won't happen to you. This is crazy. After all these red flags that this woman saw in this man, she's still willing to spend all this money on this man. This doesn't make any kind of sense to me. Now she really trying to blame the man. He show he, the, this man. He he shows you all kind of red flag, but you ignore them. He end up going to prison, right? He get in there, he get insecure. We arguing. You know how dudes get like uh, uh, people think like messing with other people when they go to jail, and it's like, bro, what? I just started school. I got back in school, y'all. So. I can't work as much. Like, y'all know how nursing school is. And now all these bills are on top of me. Like, all these bills are on top of me. And I can't handle them all by myself. And we broke up. I don't even know why we broke up, but we just keep arguing because he's insecure. That's just men who go to jail, they're just insecure. <laughs> this doesn't make sense to me. You broke up with, him, with your boyfriend. You didn't even know why you guys broke up. Something is not adding up. And I'm not even talking to anybody, y'all. Not. Like, I'm focused on school and bettering myself, and I'm getting back into God, and I'm in the Word, and I'm just focused. I'm going to church, and y'all, do y'all know? <laughs> I sent this dude a message on the little jail phone, and I said, yeah. A lot of bills then piled up. I have to pay off my credit card bills. I'm just want to buy me and my kids a house. Why he hasn't bought me and my kids a house and I'd have been with him for 13 years, I don't know. So she really was expecting this man to help her cover some of the bills when this man was locked up. Does that make any kind of sense to you guys? If a man been with you for 13 years and then he didn't even at least get you a house or trying to move forward. This man was just wasting your time, but she was ignoring all the red flags. Let's keep listening. That blows me as well, because he can buy his house. He has the money, right? I was just telling him, like, man, all these bills are just pop. Bro. Like, I'm in nursing school. I can't do this. Like, I feel like dropping. I'm really, like, keeping my head above water. This man... It's a loser. I can't even call him a man, bruh. This dude going to message me back to my... You're not my responsibility anymore. I only take care of what's mine. Try. And you can't respect me. And me the way that I... I want to be loved. I had to force myself to love myself. Thirteen years. You give somebody, yeah. You give somebody your whole twenties, bruh. You had that babies. You sacrificed all your dreams and everything, right? And regardless of how you feel about the mother of your children, like I feel like that's always supposed to be your responsibility. Because when your when the children is drunk, she reflection of you when she did she been with you to break leave her a whole bunch of a whole bunch of bills like christmas was seven months ago like you literally jail two weeks after christmas I spent eight thousand dollars on christmas bro like <laughs> tell me i'm not your responsibility no more when this man was free he didn't want to help. Now you think this man, he's locked up. How in the hell? How do you expect in this man to help you now? Well, let's keep listening. Because I, your girlfriend. <laughs> my life. I, I wouldn't have my life given a to me. Like, that is the only, only, only I'm giving my time. She too. Like, you cannot trust man, bro. These horrible, horrible. I don't even hate. It. I know it's really good out here, but they are somebody. <laughs> we like all the good men are taken. Bye.
you can't really put this on men because you ignored all the red flag now you're in your 30s you're crying because of what this man did to you in your 20s 13 years you ignore all the red flags for 13 years now you're on the internet right you really have what exactly do you think going to happen you really think those people are going to feel bad for you there's not much they can do what had happened already happened it's all on you this is what happened when you ignore all the red flags but let's keep listening I promise you, bro. Like I'm so sorry because that that's like how men children for no reason, for no reason, for no reason. He didn't catch me house in the bed with no. He ain't, you know what I mean? He cheated. He ain't catch me with nothing. He goes to jail. He like abandons his family. He don't call. He don't check on. The it's like he go to jail, gets in a, a prison mentality. It's the same thing I ever seen, but if the real life is going on here. Like, Earth don't stop because you go to jail. So I like if you're young and you watching this, stay away from a street nigga. Stay away from them niggas in the, who spend five percent of their time in the, because it's like okay, you spend all this time in the streets, you this money, and you can't help but your kids, bruh. So now she's saying, she's telling, so she, basically she's telling women to stay away from street dudes, right? So I don't understand why it, it takes some of them so long. It's like when they are young in their 20s or maybe younger than that. That's the kind of dude some of them want, right? But when they start getting older, it was like, nah, this guy is not for me. So now what exactly are you, are you respecting? You really thinking because you on TikTok. Ryan, you really think some other men are going to feel bad for you? Or you don't deserve this? This is all your fault. You chose that man. But let's keep it saying. I hate men. I hate them. I hate them. I, I hate them. I hate them. Thick. Like, I'm just, ugh. And I'm, because my makeup was so cute. I off. And I'm just sitting here. Thinking like, bro, oh, when I hit rock bottom, it's got to reset me and, re and I'm not going back. He said to me, like, t to see the mother crying out for you, you tell her that my responsibility is crazy. Especially when she literally gave you half in life. I think some of the stories is something that she is not telling us. Why this man keep going and he go in, then out, then go back in. Does this man have somebody in there that he is more, I mean, has a, a more connection with? Or he just love being locked up? Or maybe he's running away from, like she said, this man doing a help her taking care of their kids or is he running from his responsibilities 